you've seen the title already, you know what this vlog is about. And 90% uh, of you will probably not make it to the end. So I just want to say Merry Christmas and Happy New Year's. This will be the last vlog in 2018. I'm ending it with, <laughs> with a big one. And this will not be the standard, don't worry. I'm not gonna make one hour and 40 minute vlogs from now. Uh, I think the important thing is not to be afraid to experiment with things. So that's all I had to say. Uh, voiceover Magnus, are you ready? I'm ready. Good, okay. So let's start this climbing session. I think it's probably gonna take like at least eight hours, but I have the gym to myself, it's closed. So uh, let's get started. But before we start, I just wanna take a little trip down memory lane. I started YouTube with 1,000 subscribers and this is the very first vlog Robin made for me. So some people may be wondering <laughs> what this is what the heck we're doing. Yeah. I was looking for someone to start YouTube with, uh, someone who could film and also be part of it. The, the idea is to make video blogs. Four months, 50 vlogs, and only 4,000 subscribers later, we decided that it wasn't really any point of continuing. But um, yeah, so the only thing that's not uh, completely settled is uh, how I'm gonna continue with uh, YouTube, but um, I'll probably find a way. There you are. Starting to get a feel for this vlogger life. Picking up the camera, leaving the camera. The drive takes like a lot longer, but hopefully it'll be worth it. I think it depends on my editing skills. And my editing skills were really bad, but somehow I managed to gain subscribers. And only two months later, I had 10,000. Before I start today, I would first like to say thank you. Uh, 10,000 thank yous, to be exact. Because uh, we just passed 10,000 subscribers, and uh, I wish I had something planned, like a celebration or something special, but I don't really have that. So all I can say is thank you to all of you who are subscribed. And almost a full year later, I had 40,000 subscribers. So I just want to say thank you to everyone who's uh, supported this channel through being subscribed, liking the videos and commenting. Uh, it really means a lot to me and uh, I will keep going as long as uh, there's interest for my videos. A big thank you to everyone. But then something crazy happened. I was invited to do a collaboration with Juju Mufu. <laughs> I got 99 problems, but my bench ain't one. That's very true. <laughs> and only by the three months that followed, I had 100,000 subscribers. Okay, but now let's get started with the bouldering. So I will start with V1, grade five. If you don't want to watch the whole thing, you could either follow some of the time links or just keep an eye on the number up in the left corner. The higher the number, the harder the boulder. I want to clarify something quickly first though. Some places in the video I say 1 hour and 40 minutes, that this video is 1 hour and 40 minutes, and that is what I tried uh, to make it, because that would have been exactly 100 minutes, um, and I thought that would be good for 100k, but uh, yeah, I didn't have enough footage to make it 100 minutes long, so I decided to make it 1 hour long instead. Uh, I could have dragged it out of course, but I prefer it to be one hour. Uh, it would have been just silly to make it 140 minutes just because I felt like I had to. So when I edited this, I put all the bowlers in order, but that's not how I really did them. Uh, so you'll see that on some of the easier ones, I'll be really tired. And also the slabs can be really challenging, even though the grades are low. So. Uh, I think some of the some of the easier problems might uh, still be interesting. Uh, I can I can tell you uh, that I fell on some pretty easy problems. Uh, it's kind of embarrassing, but I decided to uh, to not leave anything out. So all the faults that I took during this session, I uh, I have left in the video. And it was challenging. A uh, hundred problems is so much more than you think. All right, so uh, moving up one grade to five plus, V2. I actually did the exact same thing for vlog number 100. And uh, I remember then too, like I did it with my brother and he did uh, 
15 or 20 of the problems and it took us so long um, and this time there were actually around 110 bowlers so I could leave out the grade 4 because I think those wouldn't have been too interesting anyways but um, yeah I mean I wish I could have done something more special for this uh, vlog but uh, I, I saw some of the comments um, some of you were suggesting a uh, first ascent but it's not really the time uh, of year to do a first ascent in Norway so uh, that would have been uh, very very cold and uh, and also I don't know of that many uh, you were asking for a beautiful first ascent and I don't know of that many beautiful first ascents uh, if I did I probably would have tried it already and um, I also saw some comments about ice climbing and that would have been fun I actually thought about that but uh, the problem is that right before Christmas when I recorded this video um, most of my friends are so busy with Christmas and uh, buying presents and all that stuff so uh, didn't really have anyone to climb with or especially ice climbing would have been hard to find someone I'm going through these EC grades pretty fast and remember you can always skip in the time link and I promise I will not talk during this whole video but uh, during these uh, very easy problems I feel like uh, I, I need to do something to make it a little bit more entertaining so we're moving up one grade again to 6A and at this grade the slabs are starting to get interesting and this is the train that I take every day or it's actually the subway not the train so it stops right outside the gym which is convenient little advertisement for the gym there yeah pretty sure that's not how you're supposed to do that bowler but um, it was early on and I still had a lot of energy at that point so some of these bowlers even though they're easy they're pretty creative and fun to climb Alright, so while we still have some of the easy bowlers, I think I'll pull up some stats. Uh, it might be interesting to some of you. I'll just. Like, maybe it's interesting for you to know who's actually watching these vlogs. So, these are the top 25 countries based on the last year. And uh, as you can see, Norway is pretty small. That was uh, surprising to me. The US is on top, and uh, yeah, it's pretty spread out. Probably one of the reasons why uh, the US is so big is because of Juji and the collab that I did. But even before we did that collab, the US was the biggest country. And you can also see that there are way more guys watching than girls. So normally when I do these voiceovers, I have sort of a plan. But now I have so much time that I'm just like rambling. Hopefully I won't say anything that I would regret. Alright, so we're at Boulder 19 and uh, the Climbing should get progressively more interesting, um, at least when it's slabby. Alright, I'm gonna pull up another statistics here. Uh, this is, uh, so this is age and gender. So you can see most of the people watching are around 30. Uh, not so many kids, a lot of kids watch YouTube but uh, not my channel, I can understand why. Um, and also not too many uh, 65 plus you get a lot more details um, uh, on YouTube so uh, I do watch this all the time to try to improve and just uh, when I decide what to make what videos to make I always watch the like average duration watch time all that stuff uh, it gives me a lot of valuable feedback and uh, even though I try to make the videos that I want to make, I, I still like want to make videos that people want to watch. Um, that is also important to me. So uh, yeah, I'm reading the comments, I'm uh, watching the statistics and uh, I try to do my best to, uh, to please you guys uh, always.
right, so next grade is uh, 6A+, plus, and uh, I might have fallen on this grade. Or I might not have, I don't know, you just have to watch to find out, I guess. But yeah, if you saw the intro, you uh, it probably seemed like uh, reaching 100,000 went really quickly, but it definitely did not feel like that for me. Um, to be completely honest, there were a couple of times where when I've been really close to quitting. Um, it's just, uh, it just seemed like there was way too much work and uh, it was not growing fast enough. I was spending money on camera equipment and not making anything off of YouTube. And it felt like not all of my sponsors appreciated what I did on YouTube. And if you look at the list of sponsors that I always include in the description of the video, yeah, you'll see that it has shrunk a little bit. So I had some weak moments where I thought about quitting, but uh, I'm very, very happy that I didn't now because uh, I remember even people told me that, like, you just have to continue and then all of a sudden something will just, either you make a viral video or something will happen and the channel will just blow up. So uh, people told me to, to be patient and uh, luckily I did, but... Uh, there has definitely been times when I've been close to quitting the whole thing. The last two years I've spent probably 10 times the amount of time on, uh, on editing and YouTube uh, than I have climbing. I looked really tired there and that's just because uh, that was one of the last bowlers I did. And here's the pink one. This one is interesting. Oh, <laughs> so that was my first fall oh, on a V3 6 day plus. 6 day plus. In total, it only took me around seven hours, but or six or seven hours, but it, uh, that was without resting almost anything. So I just went from one boulder to the next, and I did some of the hard ones I did uh, as the first boulder because I knew that I'd be too tired by the end of this to, to actually do the hardest ones. And uh, I guess you haven't seen much climbing on this wall. Uh, it's like a beginner bouldering wall, has grades up to 6B plus or something I think so I did a couple of bowlers on that wall and I started warming up on that wall and that's probably why I look a little bit more energized and uh, also why I still have my t-shirt on it's hard to see the top holes on some of these all right so we're moving up yet another grade to 6B V4, and uh, this is bowler number 36. So we're not even halfway. And uh, just to remind you, you can still skip if you are not interested to see everything. The further you skip, the harder the bowlers will get. So there are a lot of 6Bs in the gym. I think this is one of the most popular grades, 6B. It's a grade that many people climb.
the upper floor, that was the last floor I did. And that's why I look more tired. And then this 6B right here is uh, not easy for 6B. Oh, now I'm starting to get really... Really, really annoyed by this. Really, really annoyed by this. Takes so long. Everything hurts. But I'm not gonna be a wimp. Come on, Magnus. Or another one. You have to hold some pretty small holes, and there is no way around it. Like, there's no way to cheat this bowler. And here comes the first, <laughs> the first really frustrating bowler. It was supposed to be 6B, and it felt really, really hard for me. But it's also the, one of the last bowlers I did. Uh, my shoes were hurting really bad at that time. You see, there's. Uh, I think you're just supposed to jump to the to the edge there. Um, it's kind of blind, yeah, and you have to make sure not to use any of the holes that are not on the boulder, because you can't really see it. So make sure not to grab anything that's not on the boulder. <laughs> so uh, yeah, you can see I'm almost like limping a little bit, and uh, that's just because I've I've worn my shoes for so long. I don't really understand how this could be 6B, that's why I'm like looking for different ways to do it. But it's a very cool 6B, and even though it's like hard for the grade, it's, uh, it's very technical. And uh, I think that if you climb 6B, you have a chance to do this boulder, just because it's... Uh, it's more about technique than power. So if you just try it enough times, you'll be able to do it. And you can see that some of these bowlers are really aesthetic and look really nice, just like this one, with a lot of big volumes and toe hooks. And like it, I think the root setters really put a lot of heart and soul into this grade. And uh, when you go to some gyms, you'll see that uh, it will seem like the root setters have paid a lot more attention to the hard bowlers and uh, the easy bowlers are just put up really fast and without any idea behind them but uh, I have to say some of these 6Bs are really nice to climb and it's not like you can just power your way through all of them uh, on some of them you have to really think Okay, so let's talk about some of the plans for next year. As you know, the first thing that's happening is uh, I'm going back to the US to do another over there. That was almost a slip. Uh, to do a collaboration with uh, Juji Mufu again. And uh, I really look forward to that. I, I don't think we're going to do that much climbing. But um, we're going to do a lot of other cool things. Um, and I'm also talking with uh, Bouldering Bobats. I know a lot of you are watching that channel as well. Uh, I'm planning to do a collaboration with them in February. And uh, probably the biggest news for next year is that I'll try to get someone um, to film one vlog a week for me. I'm really excited to see how that goes. Um, I will continue to make hopefully as many videos as I made uh, this year. So the extra person will just be uh, making additional vlogs so that I can produce more. But um, he has made a vlog for me in the past. His name is Simon. Uh, I don't know if you remember the first winter freezing deep water solo thing I did that was with him. He filmed that. I'll show you a little clip from and, it. Uh, I'm here with, uh, with Simon. Hi. I'm excited to see how that goes. I hope that it works out, but uh, the YouTube thing is a lot more work than uh, people realize, so uh, we'll see. Um, I feel like it's, it was the same last year. I started thinking that um, my brother could uh, help me edit and film, and uh, that didn't really work out. But this is very different because Simon actually has a YouTube channel, and uh, he's a very good editor, so uh, I have high hopes that this will work. If you guys have not checked out his channel, you should. I'll, uh, I'll leave the link in the description.
Okay, but I think that was enough talking for a while. So I'm gonna turn up the volume and I'll be back later. Right, so it's time for slab of the week and uh, this week's slab I think is around 6B plus and it's supposed to look like a Christmas tree. I don't know if it does, you be the judge. Uh, it has the white, red and green colors but um, I don't really know what it looks like. It has a lot of holes which sometimes can be confusing.
hardest move was definitely the last move. All right, so we're moving on to the next grade, 6C. So these are all the 6Cs in the gym. Let's turn the volume back up. And we're moving up yet another grade to 6C+.
Kult sein. And an awkward talk too. It's an awkward match. <clears throat> All right, seven A. No, six E plus. So that was the last 60 plus in the gym. Now it's time for the seven A's. I'm slab we're all equal. <clears throat> so you guys enjoying yourself so far? I feel bad for future Magnus who has to edit all the all of this. Oh that's gonna be so much work, but um yeah. I don't even know how many people are gonna watch all of this. Like if you make it to the end and if you watch all the, like this whole thing, I'm gonna be really impressed. I'm actually gonna be more impressed by you than me. like a really low sit so it's really awkward.
With only 15 bullers left, we move up to 7A+. And this first black 7A+, is probably one of the easier 7A pluses in the gym, but uh, I did not make it look so easy. Of all the sevens I fell on, I feel like I fell on the easiest ones. And uh, I think that's just because I was really unfocused and expected them to be easy. But when you're this tired, I guess you should not expect anything to feel easy. They say that you learn from your mistakes, but I definitely don't learn from my mistakes. <laughs> I do them over and over and over again. I remember last time I also underestimated how long it takes to do 100 bowlers. I thought that this time I would just go through them really quickly. The easy problems would be easy anyways. But uh, whew, now at the end of this session, nothing feels easy. And uh, I think right now it's, uh, it's around 3 a.m. I started 10 a.m. and I still have some left. So it's gonna take around six hours in total. And uh, it's been like six hours of constantly climbing. I haven't really rested at all. So it's gonna be a good session at least. Very good session. Okay, so we only have the 11 hardest bowlers left, and uh, we're moving up one grade to 7B.
actually really tricky. I've done this before and I remember it felt hard. Really hard. I'm gonna take this and I switch, go two times. All right, so it's time to try the, the campus bowler. This one is pretty hard. I should probably have started with that. But yeah, usually campus bowlers suit me, so it should be fine. Skin is starting. Skin is starting to hurt now. So this pink bowler is uh, definitely one of the hardest bowlers for me. It's not the steepest angle and that's probably part of the reason, but I expected this one to be hard. You have to do a switch there. As soon as you get that left hand hold, you have to change your right hand to a side pull from a gas down. It's pretty tricky, but you also have to use that foot hold down left. It's a pretty good toe hook or heel hook. And the top is not easy either. First one switch, and then this is like the crux switch. It's such a cool move. And this uh, second to last hold has a thumb that you can't really see, but uh, it's not easy. You have to jump up to the to the top hold. That was so hard for me. Pretty happy with that because I knew that that was gonna be one of the hardest ones. Okay, so we're moving down to the last five bowler problems. The last five hardest bowler problems. This has been a long session and a very long video. I'm 
glad it's coming to an end. Okay, so this problem is uh, pretty weird actually. There are even a couple of holes on this boulder that I don't use at all. Like the big start foot hole and the hole before the pockets, the big pockets. I'll put a couple of arrows so that it's easier to see. And it's, I think it's pretty easy for the grade. It's easy for 7C, I think. And after this, there's only one problem left, and that problem is really physical. It's the, you can actually see some of the holes of that problem. It's the black problem to, to the left, you see the steep part there, on the 45 degree angle wall. And it's finally time for boulder number 100, 7C plus, V10. Here we go.
right, so finally finished. It is 3.38. Okay, focus Magnus, focus, God damn it. All right, so um, this was my uh, 100K special. <laughs> I don't know. It was probably not uh, very special. It, um, I don't know, I, I just couldn't come up with anything. I, I tried to think of a lot of different things like hanging, a hundred minutes in a pull-up bar, like, I don't know, like weird stuff. And I figured that you guys probably think it's more interesting to watch a hundred bowlers. At least that's like climbing. And uh, it's been a good, it's been a, I can't even talk anymore. It's been a good session for me as well. Um, I feel completely exhausted. Uh, it, this will be the last video for 2018. But uh, 2019 is just around the corner, so uh, I look forward to see you then. Again, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year's. Make sure to like and subscribe with post notifications on, as always. And uh, I will see you next year.